Next, we're going to find out how the tests are conducted in order to guarantee the IP rating. This technical characteristic offers information about the protection provided by enclosures against the entry of hazardous parts, solid foreign bodies and water. These tests are governed by standard IEC 6529. The code includes two digits. Here, we analyze the second digit, which represents the resistance to water. The second digit may range between 0 and 8. As stated above, this indicates the protection against the ingress of water provided by the enclosure to the equipment inside. The first test is for an IPX3 protection rating. The purpose of this test is to check the protection provided by the enclosure against the ingress of water in the form of vertical rainfall. The sample is placed in the test chamber. In the chamber, water is sprayed with an angle of rotation of up to 60 degrees with respect to the vertical. And the test lasts exactly 10 minutes, as established in the standard. The test is considered to have been passed if, after 10 minutes, the amount of water which has penetrated the part does not affect its safety. In practice, this implies that no water has penetrated the interior. Next, we run the test for an IPX4 rating. In this case, water is again sprayed as vertical rainfall, but the angle of projection is modified. The angle of rotation is 180 degrees with respect to the vertical, and the length of the test is 10 minutes. The test is considered to have been passed if, after 10 minutes, the amount of water which has penetrated the part does not affect its safety. That is, no water has penetrated the interior. The purpose of the IPX5 test is to check the protection provided to the enclosure against the ingress of water in the form of a mild water jet. To run this test, a uniform jet of water is applied all over the surface of the enclosure. It's extremely important to apply the jet of water to the most critical zones, such as locks, hinges, cable fittings, and the rubber door seal. After three minutes, the length of the test, check that there is no water inside the part. Next, we run the test for an IPX6 rating. In this test, a powerful jet of water is applied to test the protection rating. This powerful jet of water is applied for three minutes, as established in the standard, to the entire surface of the enclosure and, in particular, to the more critical zones. To pass the test, check that there is no water inside the enclosure. Now we've reached the highest protection against water that we will test here, the IPX7 rating. This test checks the protection provided by the enclosure against the penetration of water during total immersion for a limited time. To perform this test, the sample is submerged such that the lowest point is at a depth of one meter. If the sample is very large, the highest point must be at least 15 centimeters underwater. The test is considered to have been passed if, after 30 minutes, the amount of water which has penetrated the part does not affect its safety. In practice, this implies that no water has penetrated the interior. Unlike the first digit of the IP code, for the second digit, compliance with a higher digit does not always imply compliance with the previous digits. That is, Compliance with an X6 or X7 rating does not always indicate compliance with the X5 or X6 rating. Only the digits below 4 comply with this rule.